you have there? Some seeds? Odie, are you going to plant some seeds? Using a plastic bag? Can you show us? For this experiment, we need some seeds, a small plastic sealable bag, some paper towel, a stapler, and some tape. Let's start with a paper towel and fold it in half. Let's fold it in half again. Now let's take the plastic bag and put the paper towel inside it. And staple a row in the middle. Now we are going to pour some water in the bag. Make sure to leave a little pool of water at the bottom of the bag. Let's add the seeds. Seal the bag. Now let's take the bag to a window. Odie, let's find out how the process works while we wait for the seeds to grow. Most of the plants around us start from seeds. Some seeds are very small and other seeds, like the seeds from a coconut tree, are very large. The outer layer of the seed is called the seed coat. This protects the food inside the seed and prevents it from drying out. The food inside the seed is called endosperm. There is also a tiny baby plant called an embryo. When water is added, the food stored inside the seed begins to convert into energy. This energy feeds the embryo, which then sends a signal for the roots to begin to sprout. But no matter which way the seed is planted, the roots always grow downwards. The roots stretch down in search of water and minerals. Next, the embryo pushes out a shoot. The shoot which has the stem of the plant and a few leaves, makes its way up towards the sunlight. This growing process is called germination. Once the shoot has sprouted, it no longer needs the food from inside the seed. Plants produce their own food using sunlight. <laughs> 